Oh, let's do one more. I'm having a good time playing right now. So, uh, we've got this clean out the mercs. Seems, seems legit. A well-regarded mercenary. Sounds like one super fighter. All right, let's go find it and destroy it. Looks like we have more reputation than normal at stake here, which is kind of nice. Since we're going to go up against a good merc, though. Let's try this distribution. Having a good reputation, you can get discounts and stuff, so that's cool. Um, we're pretty good for money, I think. I don't know if we're going to have... Oh yeah, we've got more than enough healthy pilots. So the Shadowhawk took a little bit of a pounding, though. Question is, do we run a Jenner instead? It's got a bunch of medium lasers. Hmm. Got lots to think about. No. We'll run the Shadow Hawk. But I think we might run. Just given the circumstances, I think we might run Decker as an evasion tank. Because he has an increased uh, max evasion, so. He caps at five, so I might have him sprinting or jumping around. Like he were in a spider. Uh, he doesn't have a huge amount of firepower anyway. Actually, his weapons are optimized for being a little further out, but that, that could still all work out. We can try making him the bait anyway. Command interface initiated. Feels good. Keep him off balance. Yeah, they've got... They've got as much as I've got in this fight. I'm willing to sprint with Decker. We're going to wait till he gets there before we do anything, though. Yep. Glitch uh, needs to operate at short range and also has pretty good flim flam. Gotta say, I don't love the Yager mech. I thought I would. It just doesn't have enough firepower that I'm seeing so far. Maybe I need to tweak it a bit. What's up, boss? Waiting on you, Commander. But I think Yeah. It could just be that I really like SRMs, but I think the, the Centurion's we'll the one that's doing it for me. Alright, five evasion. Let's do it. Picked up a blip. He's tanking. Let's act like it for once. New bogey. I thought he was going to get lurmed. Waiting for orders. Commander. On my way.
We don't want her going all the way in. Glitch, on the other hand, Good I'm okay with that. And we're just all about... Any chance I can do better with a jump? No. I don't love it, but I am going to go for the leaving that one flank a little bit open. We can probably use Good Dave to secure it. Alright, what do you got? A big one? An Orion. Damage is light. Yeah, and we've got good range on the auto cannons. All right. And the Orion also seems very good. Oh, wow. This is a heavy tank. That head's super vulnerable, though. I don't think that was necessarily worth it, but it happened. Come on, super evasion. Didn't happen. Standing by. Seventy percent chance at one hundred and ten damage. I hear ya. Commander. Gonna generate a little bit of heat. One and a two. Pretty pleased with this. Line them up and I'll Rip and run. These are all good mechs we're fighting, unfortunately. All right, good tanking, Decker. Internal structure damage. Eh, it's fine. Orders. He's gonna die. Okay. Standing by. All right. If you jumped there. We could hit and on the same side that Glitch was targeting. So things are going to be really softened up there, actually. Yeah, let fly with everything. Go for the leg. Pilot's injured. Yeah, it's, well. We still need him to jump into harm's way, unfortunately. So he's got to hang out somewhere like here. Engaging target. Pray for a leg hit. Great work, Decker. Thank you. All 
Alright, pretty good distribution of damage at least. I mean, this is my heaviest mech. It's supposed to have the firepower. Let's see. Yeah. We're close to knocking it over. Well done, Decker. They've blown past my armor. Eh, it's fine. Oh, he might fall over. That could be a problem. Yes, Commander. Receiving you. Yeah, I think he lost his evasiveness there. Uh, I don't love that move. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I do. We're gonna jump here, and I think I'm just gonna brace. And pray that they don't melee him. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Shot to the back of the head. All right, I have enough faith in his general evasiveness Good to go. uh to you know uh one sec okay we can't jump to the side i actually want to hammer on this thing We'll do this in multi-target, I guess. All right, let fly. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. That Orion. We're going to have some trouble. Okay, somebody knock it over now. We're fine. There's lots of being fine in this mission. I'm scared of their mechs. Good to go. Yeah, put it on its back. Coordinates received. We have a 95% chance of connecting, and then we should. There we go. I was waiting for the knockdown. There is surely enough stability. A little worried about this exact thing. Oh no, he's going for Decker still. He wants him. Reporting internal damage. It's okay, Decker. You can take lots of that. All right, time to take a real shot at the Orion. This is actually a really great per place for the Yager mech to be. Oh, or we could wreck the shadow. Sheesh. Now I can see why it's so effective when it's armored up. The Oyager mech's not too durable, unfortunately. Warning. Armor breached. I need to get it into the cover. Receiving you. I hear ya. I 
much armor do you have there? Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna unload into the center torso. Got it. My goodness. I, what I should have done is... Yeah, it keeps taking those. Waiting for orders. Oh. <laughs> One hit point. Well, cook it. And you can use those spares to repair your mech someday. Good to go. Lifting off. Woohoo! Firing. Boy, those missiles did not look great. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, five evasion. I'm taking internal damage. It's okay. You can hear it in my voice. Oh, that's fine. That's really good. Too close. Better. Yeah, we'll do a multi-target is what we'll do. Get those AC2s on the... on the Orion, where it's actually a bit more likely to do something. I mean, a coin flip for 25 damage twice isn't bad, but... Thing is so friggin' durable. Goodbye, Decker. I thought he'd dodge it. In my heart, I thought he'd dodge. Internal damage. Yeah, but what about now? Light damage, Commander. Uh. Sure. I don't think he's going to get shot at anymore, but that's fine. Roger that. He's having a pretty tough day. Okay, just out of curiosity. Okay, it's a little weak from behind. We might have to flank this guy. Ooh. Look at this thing's durability. We also could maybe focus fire on that. I have a precision strike available. I'm not going to go for that quite yet, though. It'll do. I really don't want to explore those uh, glitches back. I only got the one evasive of the snow, so... Alright, well. Let's see what happens. Could try going for the headshots. Kind of want the morale base bonus in place, though. Now, the glitch or er, behemoth needs to be at close range, unfortunately. Aye, aye. 
Let's just hope this is enough. We're just going to open fire for now. All weapons are go. All right. Inflicted some heavy damage. I love. Uh oh, I love that he keeps trying to kill Decker, though. That is all I could dream of and more. Mm, tempting. Perfect. And the other arm. It's a start. Waiting for orders. Does not stack with guarded. Okay, I'd still probably take cover in this situation. Don't let up. Maybe I should have gone for the melee, but. All weapons are go. I'd say you're in trouble. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Yes, Commander. Could death from above? Oh no, I couldn't. Jumping. We're just gonna jump him into harm's way, high evasiveness, and brace yet again. Ready for orders. Knock it down. Copy that. It's actually completely useless right now, anyway. And fall over? There we are. Won't take much more to kill the pilot. Perfect. Decker, you are doing your job beautifully. Like it's got nothing left. And eight hit points on the center torso. All right, let's shed a little heat. Engaging target. This thing's so durable, I don't exactly want to play the, the chip damage game with it. Just keep dancing around. He can't seem to resist shooting at Decker, which I love. He's going for the low hanging fruit, but it's having a hard time. Waiting for orders. What's up, boss? I think we might not be far enough around. I'm also not sure about playing it this aggressively at this time. You won't want to move though. If, oh, what can I do for you? You got some stability damage in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him. The ultimate insult. Perfect. Got it. The Centurion's managing its heat really well, which I like. Commencing alpha strike. 
I was gonna call it a routine shot, but sure. Oh, don't get up. I guess he can melee. There's still some danger here. Well. Suit yourself. We're not going to panic on that one, though. We'll melee him again and knock him right back over. Good. I wonder if he's running hot? He's holding... No, he's got great temperature. Standing by. Yeah, we're gonna open fire this time. Uh... I copy. All right. <laughs> Target eliminated. That was actually kind of heartbreaking. Just the first shot goes right through the hearth and back, and it just kneels over. Good to go. <gasps> That's the sound it made. Or in the Japanese version, oh. It's not racist. Anime has lots of grunts like that. Moving to position. Oh. Where's all your stuff? I think we're gonna try taking your legs out. Got it. Oh, we exposed the leg. Yes, Commander. All right. I bet this thing has a devastatingly powerful melee attack, but let's uh let's engage it at point blank. I like the misdirection, pulling back for the right hook and then the kick. It seed me fight. My flamer is empty. That's tempting. We'll just have to hope we get one. Right leg. Let's do this. Pilot's down two health chicklets. Unfortunately, he can stand up now. Hmm. He's playing it so defensively. He knows he's got hit points. Yeah, let's do it. Target locked. Engaging jump jets. Leroy. <laughs> Injured and unsteady. All right, there's our opportunity. Knock it over. And pilot injured, pilot dead. Yeah, just pureed the cockpit. So I imagine after they take like three damage, the seat belts are a little too stretchy, and so they're just bouncing around in there like they're in a centrifuge.
All right. You did well to live, Decker. Looks like we're going to be getting some time off. I should have gone for the three. Oh, well. Oh, we got lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. Good, because we're running low on max. We didn't have great odds of that happening, so I am thrilled. I didn't even look at what else we got. Deliberate Health Decimus. Yes, I quite enjoyed it. Uh, let's just scrap it, though. I'm just kidding. Jenner, I always wanted to try you out once, but you're going to have to sit until our mech bay is ready to go. But what is it armed with? See, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is equipped to operate at a variety of ranges. I'm not sure I would employ the same tactics they did. It, uh... I mean, to tank effectively... What you need is jump jets. No, um... You need to be a desirable target, and so I just saved it for last. And my point is, usually that means being close. Like, even in this game where some weapons are a lot more effective at range, it's just being in the middle of action just tends to get you shot at. Oh, well, it's got a variety of ranges. Let's just take a look. And if we strip the equipment, oh, see, there's lots of room. See, what I would want to do is pick a range and stick to it. It's mostly laser based. We do have some Lerm 15s, but again, I would rather not use it on a vehicle like this. Twenty for six heat or thirty two for eight. Yeah, it's still better. Only if we had scarcity of tonnage. Alright, apparently I should not be putting SRM ammo uh, in the head or center torso, by the way. Or possibly in these torsos too. I forget exactly. Either way, it could explode. It sounded bad. How many shots does this thing pack, by the way? 100. That doesn't buy us very many shots. You 
Yeah, I think we need another ammo crate there. Ballistics, what's our shortest range one? 360, 480. Okay, we'll probably save the auto cannon. Although I like the idea of stability damage on this thing. Eh, let's wait on that. Just load it up with medium lasers. Have its heat efficiency fall apart. I mean, we could still put a bajillion heat sinks on this thing. We're getting there. And it's just designed to be at super close range. I don't know what I think about it, but it's an idea. Yeah, I just put it on here just to concept it out. This is effectively turning it into what I did with the Centurion as well. And then what, we can sneak in an auto cannon there. Down to 12, we can't. 10 of 6, yeah. I'd still be tempted to pile on more, more heat sinks or possibly some other jump jet because it looks like we can't put the other jump jets on there. Mm hmm. Food for thought, anyway. Man, this thing's durable. There we go. There's actually barely any space. All right, anyway, I'm gonna test it out once normally. We'll figure that all out next time. Thanks for watching everyone. And we're probably gonna need to little, wait a little bit just to get some repairs going. See you there. Maybe.